test. The test of what, Michael? Is it the test? Secrets of the Soul? Guys, yeah. welcome. Hmm? New game. We just got done uh, with the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Hopefully, this is another chill, not intense adventure. Michael sent this one to me on uh, Steam. Yep. Uh, I don't know much about it, but I'm excited. Uh... Uh, we're going to dip our toes into some weird stuff. Yeah. Uh, because, you know what? We're trying to get you weird mother effers to come at the channel and like our stuff. We, we get buried when we uh, put the popular stuff out. This will bring the weirdos. And that's who we hope you are. The freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at Can't do that any longer. No. Get price track. Guys, uh, right at the top of the video before we get started, or as we get started, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. We appreciate we're a small channel. We need the interactions. Uh, let us know what you want from us. We'd love to hear it. Thank you, Michael. Yes. Sometimes people forget how to suck a D. Every angel has a demonic past, and every demon has an angelic future. Oh my God, did a 13-year-old write that one? I was going to say, <laughs> did they read my journal in high school? Everyone so wishes to be the madman. Da -da 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 -da. Hey. Gotta have that Joker mindset, bro. <laughs> you find yourself on the inside of a desolate chapel in the thro uh, throes of a midnight storm the rain pelts the windows the falling stones like falling stones and the wind rages on as okay fine the chapel I doors know. tremble get a read fast from okay me. okay after a quick glance around the room you hear a low gristled voice growl at you from darkness beckoning you in <laughs> the desolate chapel well, you know, it's raining. It's pelting me like stones. We might as well come in. Well, hello, Drow Wanderer. It's a pleasure to find you here. Hi. Come in from the rain. Rest your weary bones. For we have much to talk about. Well, I don't mind the rain. <laughs> it looks like the storm is going to last a while, Wanderer. Make yourself comfortable. I don't think you'll be going anywhere for some time. No, oh, there I don't here. We should find something to pass the time. Do you think? You got part cheesy? <laughs> Perhaps we should get acquainted with one another. I'd love to learn all about you. I don't know if I swing that way. I'm currently dating somebody. Dude, this looks. This guy looks like a gas. Like the the on the Disturbed album cover. Yeah. You know, yeah. With the guy with the teeth and. The... Ooh, ah! Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure your soul's full of stories, Wanderer. I'll bet you have delicious secrets deep inside too. I've never been really good at playing Clue, but I guess we could play that if you want. You got to keep this going. I have an idea. I don't, I don't put out. Oh, I'm going to ask you some questions, and you're going to answer them for me, very, very honestly. That way, I'll have the opportunity to get to know you. Ooh, icebreakers. The real you. I'm an open book. Whatever you want to say, I'm a da 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 down. Now, don't you lie to me, Wanderer. No one likes a liar. Well, you know what they say, liar, liar, put him in the fire. It's not what they say, it's something Shut with pants. <laughs> In the end, I will tell you what I see deep, deep within your soul. Doesn't that sound like fun? Well, I'm not about all these new age games, but I'm, I'm an open-minded fellow, so I'll give it a shot. Let's get started, shall we? Diddly do, let's do it. Make us all comfortable as we delve deep into your mind. We'll begin. I have a towel. Yeah. Can I get a towel? Um, yes, over there in the corner. Great. All right. All right. Is that better? Are you done? Is, is there a place you want me to hang this up? I know that we don't want mildew to be settled in anywhere, or... Throw it on the floor. I don't even live here. Well, come on. I... Well, you... We can put it on the... We'll put it over here. Toss it on the cross. <laughs> now that's gonna make it moist. Do you know what the meaning of life is? Why'd your voice change like that? Because <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> He's like, it's really hurting. <laughs> okay. So, here. It's probably... Guys, it's probably gonna ask a bunch of personal questions. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be weird to be like... What do you think? I guess we could both ask each other what we think. I'm playing this from the I'm playing this from this the perspective, perspective of, of Ned Sanders. Ned Sanders. <laughs> no, I'm playing it the perspective of uh, the person that I've I've concocted in my mind. Okay. We're gonna name him Thomason. The tank engine. What? No, Thomason Longfellow, and he is a Compensation bank much? teller. Who works mornings and every morning brings danishes to his fellow co workers. Oh, that guy's gonna shoot. And up the he place. remembers people's food allergies. That guy's definitely a shooter. 
<laughs> the guy's giving me shooter vibes. Uh, do you believe? I don't think that uh, Tomlinson really cares about beauty being endless or not. Do you believe a human being can produce something perfect? No. I've had a pretty good couple good shits. Well, I don't know about being perfect, but I like to think that everyone inside has a heart. Perfect heart. <laughs> do you believe that inspiration can be created by oneself? Mm, Intrinsically. Do you yeah. think somebody can self-motivate themselves, or they have to be motivated by their environment? Okay, I think that Thomason is a guy who would self-motivate himself. Yeah. I think that, you know, ever since uh, his dog and his mother were murdered, um, he's had to pull himself out of that hole, uh, but his father was in prison, so okay. he had to really look inwards to to push himself forward. So I think that's true. Yes, that was a huge backstory dump you just did. Would you say art is an integral part of life? I'm gonna say Thomason really isn't into art, but he does really, really, really love those photos. That if you stare at him long enough, that there's another photo inside the photo. Mm -hmm. Um, but not enough to really say it's integral to me. And the uh, stained glass in churches. Yeah, for sure. But only if they're really hard to see what you're looking at. Okay. Would you consider yourself to be a talented individual? He whips out a yo-yo, starts bawling out. Uh, need I say more? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe being beautiful is an advantage in life? Um, Thomason remembers that when he was in high school... <laughs> The most popular beautiful girl in this school. Is a, this is a real story from Alex. Yeah, this got, is not Thomas. Got, was uh, was extremely sad in life and had a really hard time getting through it because everyone just assumed that she was so vapid and they only cared about her looks and they never took her opinion into consideration. Oh, boof! So I'm gonna hoodie. say that be being beautiful can be an advantage, but depending Boo. on the person, so I'm gonna say yes. So all your favorite celebrities, they might be having a hard dude. No. Do you think you care more about your own appearance? And others care about your appearance. Uh, Thomason reminds me of a person that probably has too many skin tags and doesn't take care of them. So I'm going to say he does not really care about his appearance. Um, Dude, I got some skin tags right here in my armpit. I tried, like, twisting them enough to, like, get them off. Like, twisting them. It mm -hmm. hurts like hell, dude. Yeah, have you considered just take, getting something for that? No. Okay. Uh, Do you believe art can be changed? Thompson's going to remember about a time when he was uh, making uh, avant-garde art of a dolphin that you, if you stare at the dolphin long enough, you would see a whale's heart. Um, <laughs> kind of fucking weird ass. And no one, <laughs> and no one got it, and he felt very judged in that moment, so he believes yes. Do you believe people should be judged? Oh, Thompson's not a judger. He ain't going to do that. I don't want to do this anymore, dude. That hurts my throat. Do you believe there are certain things that exist that we cannot perceive with our senses? Thomason is the type of guy who for sure had a moment when he was 12 years old in the back of a Denny's bathroom where he was uh, utilizing the facilities and he heard a whisper from the pipes, so he does believe in that. And guess what? Also, real life, uh, the female orgasm. Would you say that you often lack motivation? Thomas is anything but a lazy son of a gun. He does not lack motivation. So you changed the name for your character, but he is indeed giving Thomas Ned is... Flanders energy still. You were going to begin with Ted, Ned Flanders, but you went Tomlinson Longfellow, and you're still doing Ted Flanders. I, Ned Flanders. I think that I like the vibe that he's giving off, but I will say Ned Flanders wasn't no artist, and he wasn't no ghost believer. Do you believe original originality exists? So this is what I, I, when I picked this game, I was like, is this going to be like a philosophic questioning thing? Like the test? And I was like, it is. It's fulfilling everything that I love about it right now so far. Do you believe your imagination has a limit? Uh, Thomason has read The Hobbit and he loved it. So he's going to say no. Imagination does not have a limit. Well, that's, it's your imagination. I believe Thomason, the man who makes uh, art in his free time, of animals that if you stare long enough at them, you can see other animals. Other As animals' hearts. <laughs> other animals' hearts. You, yeah, that is that is some imagination. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, so, no. Do you believe insanity is key to being a genius? Thomason is going to remember, before his dad left him, mm -hmm. um, that he always spent day in and day out, sawing away at something in the basement. He was an inventor. And one day, that 
final, final invention came through. And then he never saw his father again. And all that was left in the basement was a burnt mess. A fire. But no answers. But he always believed his dad was a genius. So, yes. Okay. Do you believe that one day the world will speak only one universal language? Hmm. American. It's actually probably going to be Mandarin. If it eventually happens, it's either, it's it's either I think it's either English or Mandarin. Yeah, one of those two. Do you believe societies shape people? Thomas is going to say yes. He has seen uh, family matters, and he believes that that is true. Mm-hmm. Do you believe time erodes achievements? Well, he still remembers the time that in the eighth grade, Jimmy Slackjaw ate 14 pies in one sitting. So I'm going to say that the time did not erode. Let's just say his name wasn't Timmy Slockjaw before that. <laughs> Do you believe you possess free will? Uh, he immediately does the worm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe you are a self-fulfilling prophecy? Do you he he you throws his yo-yo out the window. <laughs> All right. Oh my. Do you believe some problems cannot be solved? Nope. If he has enough gumption and go-to attitude and his yo-yo that he runs outside to go get, he can do anything. Hmm. I feel like if we didn't base all the questions around this made-up character, it might be a lot more interesting to talk about. No, <laughs> I'm having fun with Thomason. Do you believe in the existence of karma? Oh, he for sure does. He for sure does. A Bible man believing in some Middle East? He's man? not a Bible man. Okay. Do you believe you, are, uh, you can accurately measure a person's success in life? He does not believe so. Not without knowing that person at a deep emotional level. Yeah, because that bum that is just in, uh, using dirty needles might just be, you know, maybe they have less of a carbon footprint than you. Mm-hmm. And they're doing their own part. You never know. You, how do you measure worth? How do you quantify it? What are you, some rat rat race person? Compare See, Michael, don't you try and get away from Thomason, okay? I know what you're trying to do here. You're like, I speak about it. Speak about it. Zoom in. About it. Zoom in. <laughs> Thomason is in the house. Have you achieved everything you want to achieve in life? Thomason has things to do still. You know, he uh, he still hasn't won a bingo night. And his breaststroke <laughs> is not where he needs it to be. But his trainer is working with him. And he believes that soon he will get there. Okay. Have you ever experienced a miracle? He did watch childbirth one time, and the baby came out with seven toes that when you put them together looked like the face of Abraham Lincoln. And I think in that moment he realized that it was a miracle, so yes. Would you say you dream often? Never dreamt a day in my life. Yeah, uh, Thomas. Yeah, you're trying to subvert expectations. Thomason doesn't dream. Yeah, Thomason doesn't dream. He <laughs> makes dreams happen. Yeah, real life is his dream. Uh, would you say you are plagued with nightmares? Again, not dreaming. The watcher's not a good listener. Are you sometimes afraid of yourself? He's afraid of how much he loves himself. So no. Okay, because man, do you believe you've made an impact in this world? He's remembering the time. When he helped an old woman use a vending machine when he was younger. And ever since he saw the joy on that woman's face when she drank out of that crisp, cold Pepsi, he did make a difference. And then to thank him, she took off her dentures. She said, let me show you a good time. And then what happened? Thomason is a gentleman. And he said, no, ma'am, the Pepsi was enough for you. You have a great day. And then she, you don't understand. And then and then no, no, cut, no. and then it cut to uh, them just going go 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 while the dentures was on like a little uh, foot being like a wound up toy. They're like nye, 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 nye. They're, they're all like betting this like a bookie. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be a rational individual? Individual. Uh, well, Thompson did cry uh, when he watched The Breakfast Club. Oh, so uh, no, I've never seen that movie before. Really? Yeah. It's fucked up. It's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I like the director's work. I like Ferris Bueller and uh, the other stuff he did, but never seen that one. Do you believe you always have full control over your own actions? Yes, we already we already believe that he is a gumption man. Thomason believes that he has control. Gumption, gumption, what's your function? Do you believe everything in life has a purpose? Uh, you know what i I think that Thomason would understand that not everything is on purpose. Like there isn't like a grand scheme of things, right? Uh, so like no. a network of yeah, there's uh, not, 
It's not like death fate. I don't think I don't think Thomason believes in destiny. He makes his own destiny. Okay. Have you considered yourself to be a fearful person, mm, well, Thomas? Uh, up I'm to gonna, this point, I'm gonna say no. Him. I feel like yeah. he's, he's, he's doesn't even have nightmares. He's got too much of a head on his shoulders, you know. Yeah, too much of one head on his shoulders. Just one head. Do you have many regrets in life? Not a single one. Do you feel like anything is holding you back in life? Again, we've already determined Tom Thomason is a go man, so no. What about if it just straight up said Thomason, hey? What about if it just That said game that? I would immediately be <laughs> way more I would immediately be like, alright, now I gotta get into full character. Thomason does not wear glasses. Right. Take him off. And Michael, you'd have to read everything because I can't see. <laughs> have you ever been heartbroken? Again. He has seen the Breakfast Club. He did cry too hard at it. Mm-hmm. Yes, he just loved how they came together, and truly, the weight of their parents on top of those children broke him. Is that the one where it ends where this guy's like this? Is like, and then he goes, He's walking away. Hey, hey, don't hey. you forget about? Okay. Have you broken someone else's heart? <laughs> you know what? I think Thomason is gonna remember. Um, first time he told his dog no. So yes. <laughs> do no. you believe in destiny? No, he does not. That's already, right. We've already we've already got that going for us. Do you believe the future is unpredictable? He's gonna say yes to that. Do you believe all things in life are connected in some way? That's no. That's it's destiny, no. right? Yeah. That's fate. Would you consider yourself to be a prideful person? I'm gonna say no. I don't. I think Thomason. He he. He seems pretty prideful. He's confident. He's confident, but I feel like he he wears that confidence in a way that isn't like better than you, better than you, better than you. It's more like, hey man. You, wait, is that this. is that prideful though to walk around with a saunter of just being like I'm I think, better than you? I, I think someone who's prideful uh, is uh, would it be also be considered. You no, know I am himself. a good person. Or just is it enough to just be like. You know what? I am a good. Well, person. no, think about like this for a second, right? You know who's prideful and who shows their pride in the very many scenes of their what? of their time? Vegeta. Yeah, he also has doubt though. At the same time, hardly. Are you kidding me? I'm the prince of fucking all saiyans. Yeah, I'm gonna say that was a no go on the pride. Would you consider yourself to be a vindictive person? Not a chance. Would you consider yourself to be a loving person? Absolutely. Seems pretty private when you say that. Uh, would you <laughs> would you say you usually learn from your mistakes the first time around? Thomason, uh, no. I believe Thomason is the type of guy that makes a lot of mistakes, but he always tries to come at it from a perspective of understanding. He's a he's a real kind of uh, I, I, I kind of vibe that he's kind of that he like he, when he does things, he always does things with like a really goofy demeanor. Okay. I, so I, had, I, answer that? I had to reread <laughs> the question real quick. Uh, would you say you usually learn? No, he does not. He, he will make mistakes multiple times sometimes. Do you believe that true equality exists in the world? Uh, he does not. Do you hear about reparations being talked about, like, actually legally lately? So they're actually talking about I'd be, how they're going to implement I'd be uh, interested to see where that comes from. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Should, Th- uh, thankfully, my it. family uh, came on over well after all those issues were happening, so. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to take money from you. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Do you always treat everyone you meet fairly? You know what? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that uh, he's not a perfect person. He not tries his a best. Who was saying? <laughs> not a perfect person. How how wasted would you have to be to go to a Who was concert? I'd go to a Who was concert right now. So rude. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Are you kidding me? I would have so much fun. Yeah, it would be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Do you believe you've always been treated fairly? He's going to say no. He's going to remember the one time where uh, Mr. Slackjaw, not the boy who ate the pies, but the father, didn't uh, didn't believe Thomason when he said that it was his son's idea to eat all those pies and spend all his allowance of money on it. Um, and ever since then, he realized that some people just always have it out for you. Wow, what a privileged life. That's the time he thinks of being treated unfairly. What a privileged life! Yeah, no, no. Thomas first off, Thomas had a good life, except for the fact that his father did disappear in a crazy invention accident. His mother and dog are dead. Okay. 
Well, that's some new stuff we learned. Are you guys taking notes? No, no. If you were listening earlier in the episode, I have dropped those. You didn't say the mother and dog died. That early in really? the episode. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't know. Do you believe you can escape change? No. Do you ever prolong simple tasks you know you ought to be uh, get taken care of? He is not a procrastinator Wait, at you, all. How about Alex? Oh, yeah. Do you ever hold peas? Like, let's say you're just like my, chilling yeah, in bed. You yeah, just no, like, got no. a piss. My, you're just, like, yeah, no. Oh. That, is, that is like... Uh, what is it? Uh, two <laughs> sitting on a piss. I want to fucking get yeah, up and piss. Too too tired to get up and piss. Too full of piss to go to sleep, baby. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> it's like purgatory. It's like ah, yeah, I'm like, like I can't, I can't sleep. I gotta pee, but I'm so tired to get up. And pee. <laughs> Do you believe the end always justifies the means? When mm-hmm. you piss the bed, Thomas is gonna say no to this. No, okay. Do you ever use harsh words when speaking to others? This is one time that Thomas freaked the fuck out on a whore that he fought. <laughs> First of killed the bitch. Thomason does not pay for sex. Yes, he does. <laughs> you know what? Also, sex worker Michael, have some class. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be a resentful person? No, not a chance. Are you putting your best effort into shaping life the way that you want it? He is. Okay. Do you believe you've made many mistakes in life? That one time where he decided to get the chicken Alfredo at a Denny's? So, yeah. Wow. That's fucking low. Are you willing to try anything once? Again, he tried the chicken Alfredo at a Denny's. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you have a pretty good understanding of who you are as a person? Oh, for sure. Have you ever felt like life may not be worth living? He's thinking about the Grand Slam Burger from Denny's, so no. If you what is it? You saying that's good? Oh yeah, Denny's, <laughs> dude. If you go to Denny's and you're not getting the Grand Slam burger, get out of here. I've never even Actually, knew no, that it was existing. First off, if you care about your health, don't go to Denny's and get the Grand Slam burger. Is is the Texan only a Michigan thing or like UP oh, the or like even around anymore. North? The Texas gone. But, Man, uh, they used to have the one in second. Bomb be. cheesy fucking. No, nope, they're Web burritos. Okay, I never tried the Web burritos. So, dude, check it out for a second. Grand Slam burger. Bun, beautiful meat patty, mm-hmm. probably a twenty eighty split, a little bit of fat in there. American cheese, like you do. Bacon, hash browns. Bet. Egg. All right. And then. Oh my god! They just use like, the fucking scraps of their it's like, shit. It's in like there. it was like a nacho cheese on it. Oh. And I, I swear to God, I think there was also sure like a, it hits hard. There also really. was like a mayonnaise type thing going on. There. I don't know why there was so much going on. But it was so good, and when you bit into it, it just ran down your cheeks. You're like a, you're like a fat vampire. Just <laughs> 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 like yolk running. <laughs> Blah! I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> I can feel my blood slowing down. Blah. <laughs> oh my god, is that a fat vampire? <laughs> Kill it, kill it. No, he's killing himself. <laughs> you don't have to kill it. He cannot see his macros in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read these nutrition facts for me? I cannot see them. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. oh, man, that's a whole, uh, that's a whole skit. Does this have broccoli in it? I'm allergic to broccoli. <laughs> Garlic and broccoli will take care of Oh, dude, we got to write down fat vampire. That's something right there. (laughs) It is something right there. Uh, Is your best friend, (sighs) if your best friend was dying and you were the only one who knew, would you tell them the truth about their condition? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you believe assisted suicide should be permissible? Thomas is going to take a radical idea and say yes. Oh, no, he wants to die. (laughs) What? (laughs) I didn't even read that question. No. Oh no! It was. Uh, do you have you ever thought, have you ever uh, thought about living forever? <laughs> oh okay. He believes in Jesus. Oh yeah, he believes his life has value. Have you ever doubted your own existence? No, no, no chance. Would you consider yourself to be a detective? <laughs> Maybe a detective. Burner, 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 burner. Who kills on the drop? Do you believe good can exist without evil as a contrast? Yes. Wow, you didn't like the last Jedi movie, did you? Um, <laughs> have you ever 
felt like you were placed here for a greater purpose than which you serve. No. <laughs> Somebody's got to eat the leftover Grand Slams. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know what the best part is? The whole burger? Side of fries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't even need it. It sounds like the burger that they should have just put the fries inside the burger. Like, <laughs> yeah, it is. It was like, just might as well. But they put half pounds instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a violent person? Set the scene. Thompson, age 15. Oh, shit. In his basement. Give me a deep cut, dude. Black hair. Swoop down. He had this face. Chain bracelets. A disturbed t-shirt on. He's typing on MySpace. Man. I'm gonna take out Slackjaw ever since you didn't believe me. Mr. Slackjaw, you in your last pie, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, he's just talking about an aim chat. Yeah. Would you consider yourself to have a dark mind? No. He grew out of that phase. Would you consider laughter to be the best medicine in most cases? Thomason has the weirdest fucking mouth. It's like mine where I get all weird. Have you ever seen that video? <laughs> where it's like, is this girl that's just trying to mind her own business? They're, on bre- they're in a break room and she's filming herself. And there's this guy talking in the background. He's like, some people think that I ha- I sound like Joker when I laugh. And she's like, okay. And she's like, it's, like, it's crazy. And he just starts laughing like <laughs> he starts to try to like force himself to laugh like joker he's like oh my god she's like oh my god you're laughing at it it's like so fucking cringe yes it is like deep cringe dude my name is tim robinson i think you should leave where he's like where like the skit runs to his nat logic conclusion and then three minutes more of that <laughs> yeah he just and she's she's an angel she just allows she him handled to be, well. yeah have you ever loved someone whom did not love you in return yeah. You're not going to go into the fucking backstory of that. Maybe if this, maybe it digs it back up. Yeah, wish. we'll see. Have you ever wished to be loved by all? No, Thomas is okay with only having a select few good people in his life. Do you believe that you could still live a happy life if you were hated by all? Uh, no, he would not. That would hurt his feelings. Mm-hmm. Are you initially afraid of letting others get close to you for any reason? Uh, he, there are, he does get a little worried that they're going to judge his, uh, just his uh his seashell collection so yes okay do you have any nervous tics or anxious quirks that you know of uh, yes he does get gassy when nervous okay are you a fan of thunderstorms loves them sleeps well in them oh my god i love them are you able to find peace among chaos he does every day he understands that not everything is uh meant to be some things happen for no reason but he still finds happiness in it. Do you believe that you have peace in your life at this very moment? Yeah, he's chilling with a buddy. About to play part cheesy after this. Have you ever featured that perhaps, or feared that perhaps you have a grim future? Everyone eventually was going to have something grim in their future. Very normal. Very, a very natural thing. You know what else is grim, guys? It's at the (laughs) end of the episode. We don't know how long this is going to last. We're in the middle of questioning, but... You know what? Who knows? Maybe that thunderstorm strike was, was halfway? the halfway point. Yeah, depending on like when this, like we're all done with this, I might just stitch it all together into one. Okay. But if not, you know, we're we're gonna do episode one. Thanks for watching, guys. Do all the things that you YouTubers tell you to do, uh, and we will see you next episode. Thomas in. This is an interesting game. Do, I don't know. We gotta do a fat vampire sketch. Oh, I know, dude. I'm telling it's you, so funny. that's fucking golden. Is that how much like? Uh... Can you read the nutritional values for me? I can't see them; they're <laughs> invisible. <laughs> so we were ripping so it's hard. Like, why can't you, was like, wait a minute, you you can't read them? No, I'm a fat vampire. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna bite me, are you? No. He's like he's like hiding in the darkness, but you just see a belly shirt. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Does this have broccoli? I can't have broccoli! Blah, blah, blah. Blah. <laughs> and the entire time he's he's drinking a Diet Coke. <laughs> and it'd be funny, like, we, we played the bit to its extent. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, like a couple... Whatever, like, three episodes of the Fat Vampire thing. No, if, you know what we should do? It what? should just be a skit. Okay, whatever skit. Yeah. And at the end, like a brother comes in and it's just like it's like what are you doing david 
Blah, who is David? Is, is he telling you a fat vampire? That's Dracula! <laughs> is he telling you that he's a vamp, fat vampire? Dude, he's just a regular vampire. It's like, no, I am a fat vampire! I'm dashing. <laughs> no, dude. You just like to drink a lot of blood. From high <laughs> trans fat individuals. No, I'm predispositioned to being a fat vampire. It's genetics, I can't help it! <laughs> no, dude. <you're... laughs> I'm telling you. You work out and eat right from people's blood who do not weigh over 500 pounds. <laughs> Blair, you're wrong! Blair! <laughs> I'm beautiful at every size! Blair! <laughs>